for the pre-final, he still has a great chance to win the whole thing. Beside him on the grid is the nine-year-old superstar from Zaragoza, not too far away from here. The nine-year-old star, Bria Bogdan Inut, who lines up on the second row of the starting grid. On the third row of the grid further back, two more Spanish superstars in Bruno Del Pino and Sante Valve. The top seven drivers on the grid are all local heroes, with the seventh being Sergio Ruiz Alvarez, who has been on the front row several times over the course of the weekend thanks to his great speed in qualifying. But he will be able to fight it back from the inside line without too much difficulty. Ruben Volt, the Estonian, he lines up on the fourth row of the grid on the outside outside line for Dan Holland Racing. It'll be interesting to see what he can do from the outside line. And then just tucking in behind, ninth position on the grid, we have Gabriel Stilp, the leading Brit, who has got himself into the top 10, thanks to a great showing in the pre-final. And he finds himself on the inside line. All of a sudden, the man who's made his debut here this weekend in Europe, and has done a reasonably good job coming up to this point, now finds himself with a genuine opportunity to break into the top six in final. Well, Gabriel Stilp is definitely starting to show his prowess and all he has to do is what he does best and he will do absolutely fine. Great star in Gabriel Stilp. Alongside him on the grid, another very talented racing driver, the Norwegian, Sondra Norheim, who has been very strong indeed all over the course of the weekend. The Norwegian, again racing under the FA Racing Spain colours. But he has been very strong in the latter stages of the, re of the meeting. And this morning's pre-final, he really turned a corner development-wise. And now he is in the top 10 for this final. We have another two talented racing drivers on the sixth row in Louis Hofbeck and Alex Enido, who will be there, the Dane and the Spaniard, on the sixth row of the grid. The British star Oliver Wright, he is down on the seventh row of the grid, but crucially for him, he is on that inside line and has a genuine good chance to get there. And we've seen over the course of the weekend, his overtaking prowess in the Fusion Motorsport cart has been incredibly high. So he does not need to be disheartened. He's on the right side of the grid. He definitely has what it takes to move his way through through the field and he is another star we need to keep an eye on in the future. Pineapple is ripe for plucking. Alongside him is Thomas Hassanen, the Finn, who has been going very strong in the latter stages of the meeting as well for the Mad Croc Karting Finland team. And he has been looking particularly strong in the pre-final as well. So hopefully this will be just another walk in the park for him as he rises from the seventh row. The other two Spaniards in the mix, Juan Cota and Max Stanger, are on the eighth row of the grid, both of whom have had topsy-turvy weekends and have done relatively well considering the knife edges they've been dancing on all the way through in terms of the mechanical maladies they've had to deal with being in a slightly difficult position to start their races from, but they've both kept their heads held high and are still doing well. Then we have the Norwegian Tobias Schoenberg on the inside line, the number 916. Alongside him on the grid, it is the Dutchman, Nathan Ottink, who is going to have a very strong day at the office if he is pre-vinyl, there's anything to go by. A couple of penalties kept him back, unfortunately, towards the back of the grid, but that means there is nothing to lose, and Nathan Ottink can just get stuck in and do his best. And bringing up the rear is the other man who was unfortunately penalized in the pre-final and that is the Portuguese star Ivan Dominguez but he has been permanently in the top six in terms of his lap times so do not expect him to stay down at the back of the grid for long. The first of our finals in the Ayami Winter Cup 2018 will be kicking off in about eight minutes time and it is going to be amazing to see which of these young superstars makes their way to the top of the podium later on today. We will be showing the entirety of the podium, of course, uh, as it happens with interviews with each of our four winners. And the podium ceremony will be live on Telemundi Media over the course of the day as well. There will be a slight pause between the racing and the podium ceremony to make sure that all four uh, ceremonies will be given the same amount of coverage. But uh, for those of you tuning in via Telemundi Media around the world via the iArmyEuroSeries.com website and listening in if you happen to be on the road via Downforce UK on your mobile phones, a very good afternoon to you. You have tuned in at exactly the right moment. All four of the finals are next here at the iArmy Winter Cup here at the beautiful, gorgeous, picturesque Cartodromo Lucas Guerrero circuit here on the outskirts of Chiva, the small town just on the outside of the city of Valencia, not far from the Circuito Ricardo Tor where the MotoGP finale is played out every year and of course not a million miles away from the venue which saw Fernando Alonso win the 2012 European Grand Prix on the streets of Valencia in the harbour where he picked up that fantastic victory for Ferrari just six years ago 
and it is amazing to see how many local drivers have suddenly emerged out of the woodwork since the emergence of Fernando Alonso. Spain is a real motor racing country these days, and we've got several incredible shining stars here on the grid in the X30 Mini grid. I mean, just look at the top seven. Lucas Flushacross, Alejandro Melendez, Miero, uh, Miguel Piero Luzaraga, Bria Bogdanianut, Bruno Del Pino, Santi Valve, and Sergio Ruiz Alvarez in the top seven. All of them have earned their place to be there and all of them will be very difficult to beat over the course of the race. But there are three men in the top 10 who still have a chance to get the ultimate victory. The Estonian from Tallinn, Ruben Volt, doing well all the way through the weekend. He's had ups and downs, but he has earned his place in the top 10. On the outside of the fourth row, uh, Ruben Volt will be there trying to make his progress. Gabriel Stilp, the young Brit, in ninth position on the grid. He has made progress all the way through the weekend, and it is great to see him in the top 10. Thoroughly deserved. Alongside him on the grid, the Norwegian Sandra Norheim. He too will obviously be wanting to make progress and being in the same team as the likes of Miguel Pero Luzaraga and Sergio Ruiz Alvarez, he is in very good company with the FA Racing team who have been looking after him very well indeed and the Norwegian who races here in Spain is going to be an absolutely superb driver. Then we have Louis Hofbeck, Alex Anido, Oliver Wright, uh, Thomas Hassanen, Juan Cota, Max Stanger, Tobias Schoenberg, Nathan Ottink, and Ivan Dominguez. It will be a truly fantastic race for these guys who have been working so hard up to this point. And now the battle will begin. The race will start in about five minutes time. And the drivers have been incredibly hard worked to get to this point. All the way through the practice sessions and the qualifying on Friday, and in the lead up to the race, it's been incredibly tough work for all of the drivers. We had two, uh, three heats yesterday, my apologies, two of which were won by Miguel Piero Luzoraga after some fantastic fights. The man who took the third of the heats off him, the second of the heats of the day, although the third in total, of course, is the man sitting in the third row of the grid on the outside, Sante Valve, who got a victory yesterday and we'll be hoping that he can do that again from the outside of the third row. But the man who surprised everybody is the man who came through to win the pre-final earlier this morning, and that is Lucas Fruscicross of the Praga España racing team, who has done an absolutely fantastic job, always near the front, always in the top three, and at exactly the right moment got himself to the front of the pre-final. But the man alongside him was an absolute revelation in the pre-final. He's been in the top six all weekend, but we didn't really see the best of him until the pre-final, and that man is Alejandro Melendez, along Alongside him on the front row of the grid. He was truly revolutionary in that previous race and has done an absolutely magnificent job there in second position on the front row. But do keep an eye on Miggy, who is there in third place. Miguel Pero Luzoraga, plenty of speed and pace to come from him. Two race wins out of three so far in the qualifying heats yesterday and still in the top three here in the earlier pre final. And don't forget, he's on the inside line as well. So that's the advantage he's got. Alongside him, though, is the pint side nine-year-old from Zaragoza who has been absolutely supreme all weekend. Bria Bogdanianut. Keep an eye on him because he will be absolutely fantastic through the course of the last race of the weekend for them. The X30 Minis will be absolutely electric right from the front. And with seven Spaniards in the top seven, it is almost guaranteed to be a local winner at the front. However, I said almost guaranteed because there are plenty of other drivers behind them who will be snapping at their heels to make the victory come their way. It's been an amazing journey to get to this point for the X30 Minis, and we really have had a sensational weekend. The whistle goes. Clear the grid. The mechanics must now leave the X30 Minis to their own devices as they build up for the race of the X30 Mini Final. It's all been building up to this, folks, and it's been an absolutely sensational battle. Three different winners here at the Catadromo Lucas Guerrero over the course of the three days. We have seen Miguel Pedro Rosaraga, Sante Valve, and most recently Lucas Flusha cross, cross the line in first position. But with 19 drivers battling from all over Europe, this is the final we've been waiting for. So many incredible talents. And one day we'll be speaking about some of these guys on the grids of Monaco, Indianapolis, Le Mans, Daytona, you name it. They will be there and it is going to be incredible to witness such an amazing event. Bookmark this one, folks, and record it to memory because you'll be able to say you were there when they first tasted the sweet aura of victory. So once again, let's go through that starting grid. 
Flusha Cross and Melendez on the front row. Piero Lazaraga and Bogdanianut on the second row. Del Pino and Valve on the third. Ruiz Alvarez and Volt are on the fourth row of the grid from Stelp and Norheim on the fifth. On row six, it's Hofbeck and Anido. Wright and Hassanen are on the seventh row from Kota and Stanger on the eighth. Schoenberg and Ottink are on row nine. And bringing up the rear, the hard-charging Portuguese, Ivan Dominguez. The tension is rising for these youngsters. A lot of these kids are not even in secondary school yet, and they are at the front of a grid in the international realm of karting competition. It's all been mounting to this. The crescendo is rising. The pressure is immense. The competition is intense, but these guys have it covered. So it's time to get rocking and rolling for 10 laps of the Catadromo Lucas Guerrero circuit, the tight twisting technical challenge of one of the most incredible circuits in Europe with its tight twisting apexes and fast sweeping corners. But at the same time, We've also got the test of those two incredibly long straights, which will really hurt the engines for any team that is unprepared for them. They've learned all about that now, so now it's time to get going for the X30 Mini final. Engines go on, and at the stroke of half past one local time here in Valencia, we will go around on the formation lap with 10 laps around the X30 Mini field that will decide the IAMI Winter Cup champion for 2018. The sun is out. It's a gorgeous sunny day here in February on the Catadromo Lucas Guerrero. And this is going to be the ultimate challenge as the 19 carts leave the grid. They will go around on their formation laps. And at the end of their second tour, they will file up on the back straight. And then racing will begin. Flush across and Melendez, Piero Lozoraga and Bogdan Ionut, Del Pino and Valve, Sergio Ruiz Alvarez and Ruben Volt, Stilp, Norheim, Hofbeck, Anido, Wright, Hassanen, Kota, Stanger, Schoenberg, Ottink and Dominguez. Still we are unsure as to who is going to get the victory. Yesterday's winners are not even on the front row. Today's winner, Flush across. He's going to have a very tall order to keep the feisty Alejandro Melendez at bay. And then we've got the likes of Bria Bogdan Inu. The nine-year-old has suddenly gained an extra gear and is pushing forward with every single race that progresses. It's going to be a tough one, and these guys know it. So as the field makes its way around the circuit and forms up on the starting grid, all eyes are on the three drivers who have already won. And the other three in the top six who could well make it to the podium. The first final, it's an important one. And we've got somebody on the back straight who has come to a standstill and now got going again. So that could be a real problem. I'm trying to make out who it is. I wonder if that is Gabriel Stilp. Is that the Gabriel Stilp who has fallen down the order? I think it is. No, my apologies. It is the 925 who has dropped back. So that is Alex Anido. So uh, the local man, Alex Anido, unfortunately, has fallen back off the train. He's going to have to fight tooth and nail to join up the back of the grid. Because obviously the field will form up. His only prayer now is if there is a false start. Because if there is, then they'll have to go around again. We have had a few false starts in the uh, X30 paddock here this weekend. It does happen occasionally when the drivers are obviously getting uh, very tight and very, very twisty. But the grid is forming up on the back straight now. And I think Alex Anido is just going to get there in time. Flush across. Melendez. Piero Luzaraga. Bogdaninut. Del Pino. Valve. Ruiz Alvarez. Volt. Stilp. Norheim. Hofbeck. Anido. Wright. Hassanen. Kota. Stanger. Schoenberg. Ottink and Dominguez. And Anido will take up his position on the grid. He'll get there before the red line. So now it is time for the IARMY Winter Cup X30 Mini Final. The 2018 champion will be crowned after 10 laps of the Catadromo Lucas Guerrero circuit. The fans are packed all around the circuit. The final is the one race everybody's been waiting for. And now action can begin. The grid forms on the main straight. Looks like a clean start. And we're away. Great start from Flusha Cross and an amazing start from Miguel Pedro Luzalaga as well. He's going to sit through into second position and it looks like Bruno Del Pino is going to go with them as well. Up into third position. Cracking start from Flusha Cross. Good start from Pedro Luzalaga. 
And they're going to break down for that first chicane. Are the nerves going to get the better of them? Well, a few of them have overshot. One of them's gone straight on at the chicane and rejoined in fourth position. He's going to tumble down the order. But out in front, it is Flusch across Luzaraga and Del Pino for the Unimatricular K team. So three Spaniards in the top three. No problems at all for the moment. And it's Flusch across who's got the early jump. Miguel Pedro Luzaraga is there in second place. And Bruno Del Pino has gone with him. Now we know that Bruno Del Pino is very fast. He was one of the top drivers in qualifying. Got himself into the top four early on there. Alex Zanido has got himself back into the mix in about uh, 17th and 16th positions there. But down the straight, it is Flusch across and Pedro Luzaraga who are trying to get away. Del Pino is pushing hard. Alejandro Melendez is there in fourth position. Still trying to stay near the front. And this is the end of the first lap. So in nine laps time, we'll crown our champion. It's flush across from Pilo de Zaraga, Del Pino, Melendez, Valve, Pilo de Nino, Wright, Sergio Ruiz Alvarez, Juan Cota and Gabriel Stilt rounding out the top ten. Oliver Wright is the man on the move. He has come up to sixth position now. Pineapple is on the charge for Fusion Motorsport for Great Britain. He's there in P6. Good battle. Oh, and up and over goes Priya Bogdanianut. Bogdanianut goes up and over the top of his compatriot, Sergio Ruiz Alvarez. And the nine-year-old has fallen away down into 17th position. What a disaster for Priya Bogdanianut. From the fourth position on the grid, his race has tumbled around him. Such a shame. He's been incredibly fast all weekend. Meanwhile, we've got Alejandro Melendez having moved up into third position. And passing Bruno Del Pino, we now have Sante Valve up into P4 once again. So the battle is now between the two most successful drivers of the weekend. Flush across, the winner of the pre-final, and Piero de Zoraga, the winner of two heats yesterday. These two are battling it away. Alejandro Melendez is there in third position. Fourth place for Sante Valve, fifth for Bruno Del Pino, sixth for Oliver Wright. Seventh is Ruben Volt in front of the 917 of Dominguez, way up from eighth position now. Cota, Otting, Stanger, Ruiz Alvarez, Anido, Stilt, Bogdanianut, Hassanen, Schoenberg, Norheim and Hofbeck. Still a great battle all around the circuit, particularly into turn three. Looks like there's going to be a good battle. And Nathan Ottink has to concede a position there to Max Stanger. Stanger makes a good move. Out towards turns eight and nine. The two left flicks come the leaders. Flush across and Pedro de Zaraga. Miguel Pedro de Zaraga trying his best to try and make the move on Flush across. But at the moment, they're trying to break away from Melendez and Valve. But those two are going to get closer and closer to these two out in front at the way things are currently going with Bruno Del Pino there in fifth position. And how about this? It looks like it's going to be five different teams in the top five positions. It really is that close at the moment. Braga España in front of FA Racing España. Then it is uh, Alejandro Melendez. Behind him is the unimatricular driver, that is uh, Sante Valve, oh, sorry, the unimatricular driver is Bruno Del Pino, it is the Kids to Win Competizione driver, Sante Valve, who's in fourth place, and then it is the unimatricular racer, Bruno Del Pino, who's in fifth, being chased down by Fusion Motorsports British boy wonder Oliver Wright, known to his mates as Pineapple, he is working very hard here in Spain, and pushing hard to try and close up on the top five, he's still got time, this is only lap four of ten. Meanwhile, Bruno Del Pino is desperately trying to close up on the likes of Melendez and Valve. But Valve is working hard with Melendez to try and get the gap down to Flusch across and Piero de Zalaga. These guys know each other very well. They race each other all the time in the championships of España. So off they come down the back straight. Flusch across and Piero de Zalaga still doing a great job. Melendez and Valve together as well, just a few cart lengths behind. Fifth is Bruno Del Pino, trying to catch them. Then we have the British star Oliver Wright in sixth position. He's still going well. Plenty of good work to come. They're still working hard. Oliver Wright still focused and still motivated in P6. Chasing down Bruno Del Pino, but the top four are together. Meanwhile, further back, we've got three wide four. Seventh, that is Rivers Alvarez, Volt and Dominguez going side by side. And it looks to me as though Rivers Alvarez has come out in front. And that's dropped Ruben Volt down to 10th position. Up the inside goes the Unimatricular. That is, I believe, Juan Cota that has moved his way up. So Juan Cota is making some big ground in there into ninth position. Just in behind the Dutchman, Nathan Ottick. Up the inside, though, comes Ivan Dominguez. Dominguez gets a move up the inside. So good battles in the midfield as well. Now, Alejandro Melendez has actually started to drop Sante Valve a little bit and is closing up on the leaders. Flush across and Pedro de Zaraga. So the battle continues between the top four. It's absolutely electric for 
Uh, eighth position behind Ivan Dominguez. It's getting very close indeed as the battle rages. But your leaders are continuing strong. Flushacross, Pedro de Zaraga, Melendez and Sante Valde. The four Spaniards at the front. Fifth is Bruno Del Pino being caught by Oliver Wright. He's still going. Bruno Del Pino looks behind him. Don't look behind. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. And up the inside, Alex Anito is going to try and make a move on Nathan Notting into the first corner. I can tell you he hasn't made that stick because right round the outside, they've had challenge from, I think that's Gabriel Stilp trying to come through and make up a couple of places. No, it isn't. My apologies. It's the 9.15 that's come through. That is Max Stanger, who's made another couple of positions. Good work from Stanger today. But these two are still locked together at the front. Miguel being very feisty at the moment. Miguel Perro Lazaraga working his magic at the front with Flushacross to try and get away from the rest of the field. And these two are stretching out an advantage over Alejandro Melendez now. Fourth is Sante Valde. Bruno Del Pino in fifth position. Oliver Wright closing him in though. Seventh place is still Sergio Ruiz Alvarez. Then it's Dominguez, Cota, Volt, Otting, Anindo, Stanger, Stilp. Priya Bogdanianuk back to 15th place now. Hassanen Schoenberg. And we have sadly had two retirements in Sondra Norheim and Louis Hofbeck. So now down to the first corner. Four laps to go. And it's still Flush Across versus Piero de Zaraga. They've got enough of a gap over Alejandro Melendez to be quite comfortable. Sante Valve in fourth place. Can't quite get close enough to Melendez, who has been absolutely amazing today. Oh, that was a little bit of a mistake from Melendez. Now, if Sante Valve are going to get close enough, and now side by side for the lead. Flusha Cross has got Pedro de Zaraga breathing down his neck. He's trying to give him the hurry up. Come on, they're going to catch us if we're not careful. It's two by two. Hurrah once again. First and second are close together. Third and fourth are close together. And now that Wright has caught up with Del Pino, fifth and sixth are close together. So we could have three squabbles in the top six now from the rest of this race. But Miguel Pedro de Zaraga still trying to get one over on Lucas Flusha Cross. Who is going to be the Ayami Winter Cup X30 Mini Champion? We will find out shortly because at the end of this lap, there will only be three to go. Down to the chicane. Right, left, right. Good moves from Santa Valde as he gets into third position. Zavala and right goes through into fifth position. So Oliver Wright gets past Bruno Del Pino into P5. So the battle really is on for the drivers now. So is Oliver Wright going to hold the position? Yes, he does. Sante Valve likewise holds third. But now Miguel Pedro de Zaraga has just three laps to overcome. Lucas Jack Flushacross in the lead of the race for Praga España against his rival for FA Racing Spain. It is going to be a really interesting battle to the finish line. And we, I'm afraid, have lost another one. It is Alex Anido. Alex Anido has pulled into the pits to retire. So that is Alex Anido's race done, unfortunately. Meanwhile, though, the leaders are still battling, and it looks to me as though Alejandro Melendez is stepping up the attack again on Sante Valde, but Flushacross has got himself a tiny bit of space between himself and Miguel Pedro Luzoraga. It's going to be a really close battle. Genuinely not sure how this one is going to go, but on the far side, still we have Pedro Luzoraga trying to break the ground on Flushacross. Flushacross is there, still leading with two to go, two laps left. And Sante Valde still there in third position in front of Alejandro Melendez. So Melendez is going to try and make the move. On the inside comes Emiliano Nizaga. Pedro Nizaga takes the lead. Two laps to go and he's now in front. So the battle is joined. Here comes Flusha Cross trying to come back at him. Good defense from Pedro Nizaga. But Flusha Cross is back on the inside for five and he gets the lead back again. Here we go. So the battle really is on as Bruno Del Pino, by the way, has got back past Oliver Wright in their fight for fifth position. Santi Valve is still in front of Alejandro Melendez, but now the leaders have swapped twice in one lap. Lucas Jack Flushacross still leading, but Miguel Pedro Lizalaga is trying to get the move done. Santi Valve has got Alejandro Melendez all over the back of him. Great battles for the podium finishes here in the final of the X30 Minis at the Ayami Winter Cup here at the Cotodromo Lucas Guerrero in Chiva Valencia. Down the back straight. Is this going to be the move from Miguel Pedro de Zaraga? He has a look. And this is going to be a dive for the inside. Yes, it is. They're going to hold it together. And Miguel Pedro de Zaraga gets through. And surely that's enough of a gap to win it. He's got a bit of space between himself and Flusha Cross. I'm not sure he's going to be able to make that back. The gap has opened up to three cart legs. Meanwhile, for third position, Sante Valve is defending beautifully from Alejandro Melendez. But the gap between Miguel Pedro de Zaraga and Lucas Jack Flushacross might be too big on the last lap. Alejandro Melendez still giving Sante Valve a challenge. 
Lucia Cross has not given up. Menendez dies for the inside of Santa Valle and gets through on this, the last lap. Bruno Del Pino gets back on the inside of Oliver Wright and watch out because up the inside too comes Sergio Ruiz Alvarez. Wright is down to seventh. The battle isn't done yet. Miguel Perez Araga does not want to defend too much. Melendez and Santevalve are battling over third position. Meanwhile, Ruiz Alvarez dies for the inside of Bruno Del Pino and Oliver Wright can get them both. He tries to tuck back for the inside of the undercut and Wright is through them both in the fifth position. Meanwhile, here comes Felicia Cross. One last chance. He's going to go for it. Miguel Pedro Lazaraga defends. And he's going to get the job done. Miguel Pedro Lazaraga is the Winter Cup champion. Two arms in the air. And he does it. There's a collision between the two for third position. Melendez crosses the line in front of Santi Valve. And Oliver Wright comes through for P5. Whoa! There's a little bit of a jostle over the line between Ruiz Alvarez and Bruno Del Pino. Dominguez in eighth from Stanger and Cota. Volt is 11th from Bria Bogdanianut. Nathan Otting, Gabriel Stilp, Thomas Hassanen, Schoenberg, Anido out, Snorheim out, and Hofbeck out. 16 of the 19 finished, but what a battle to the flag. And the winner, the Ayami Winter Cup X30 Mini Champion, is Miguel Pedro Luzuraga. Fantastic result. What an amazing drive from the 11-year-old boy wonder. He has absolutely stormed it in the last possible moment. He took the lead in the final turn, lap nine, and built enough of a cushion that even when Flusha Cross came a lap later, he had enough defense in the bag. And what a magnificent moment that is for the 11-year-old Spanish superstar, Miguel Pedro Lazaraga, and the FA Racing Spain team greet him home to jubilation and joy. And I am sure that the Lazaraga family are going to be absolutely elated with that one. A magnificent finish to what has been a truly sensational day from the X30 Minis. We have a new champion in the Ayami Winter Cup here in Valencia. His name, Miguel Pedro Lozaraga. That is his third win in five starts and totally and utterly served from the cool-headed man. He has worked incredibly hard and that is totally, totally deserved.